Please come in, Archit. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, sir. You are Archit Dhupal. Yes, sir. Take a seat, Archit, please. Thank you, sir. Archit, what does your name stand for? Uh, sir, Archit means the one who is worshipped or respected. It's a very spiritual name. Ha, uh, must have come from there. So, uh, just give a brief introduction to us, please. Yes, sir. Sir, my name is Archit Dhupar and I belong to Jaipur. I've done my schooling as well as my graduation from Jaipur. Uh, I've done my graduation in B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering. And I've done my Master's in Philosophy, the MA Philosophy from IGNU, Delhi. So that's a very unusual combination. And what drives you to the civil services? Uh, sir, actually, I read this one book in my college that was called Ikigai. That is a Japanese concept that defines how what should you pursue in your life. And it's a very holistic concept. So when I applied the same parameters on my understanding, so I got civil services as the career that I should pursue because it offers uh, diversity of job, job as well as uh, uh, good opportunities to work in with the government as well as society on at the large scale. And also, sir, it is a, a decent paying job for the family to sustain. <laughs> it was not so in our times. <laughs> right. Uh, last question. What is happening along the China-India line of control or border? And why? Ma'am, uh, as in 2020, China... Uh, uh, trespassed the border that was in the uh, uh, northern sector of India and India and China were engaged in clashes that was a Galvan clash and since then the border has been a boiling point of contention between both the countries. Uh, there have been talks between the countries as on the army level as well as on the uh, diplomatic level recently. Uh, one reason behind that is, ma'am, because uh, during COVID, because Chinese the management of COVID was not appreciated by the Chinese citizens as well as all over the world. So China uh, wanted to uh, take the attention to off of, from the same. So it started uh, acting in, uh, aggressively in the, on its border. That was also in the, seen in the South China Sea. Secondly, ma'am, as Chinese, no, ma'am, that was not the main reason. Uh, as ma'am, as ma'am, Chinese uh, uh, stand has been uh, of expansionism. That is, ma'am, China wants to expand its border, and China believes itself as a middle country, that is the center of the power of the planet. So China wants to uh, expand its border, and China has always maintained that uh, uh, there are certain bone of contention, such as uh, the Aksai Chin area as well as the Arunachal Pradesh area. So China wants to keep it engaged. Keep it engaged to keep India, yes, sort of say in control kind of thing, isn't it? Yes. And why is not, uh, why doesn't, I mean, you've been having border talks and negotiations for so long. Why do you think China doesn't want to resolve this issue? Ma'am, to resolve the issue, there have been certain talks before as well, but there has been uh, very less uh, uh, pull through from the same. Right, because why do you think that has happened? Is it deliberate on their part? Keep the pot boiling, so to speak? To an extent, it is deliberate because uh, it keeps uh, keeps India engaged in certain things. So that makes China the uh, Chinese development strategy more beneficial to them. This is message, messaging yes. also that they're doing. And of course, you know, trying to show the world that we are here and not India. Yes, ma'am. To some extent. Yes, ma'am. To a certain extent. Superior, I mean, that they are superior, a superior power. That is also, I think, one part of the messaging, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. What exactly do you do in the copywriting business? Uh, sir, I write ad copies that are uh, used by the e-commerce companies to target their audience for their products. So, I work in the field. Okay. <clears throat> it's a work from home. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, what is this Li-Fi meaning? Uh, sir, Li-Fi means light fidelity. Yes, sir. How is it different exactly from uh, Wi-Fi? Uh, sir, Wi-Fi uses radio signals to transmit uh, data and to connect, while Li-Fi uses light signals. So, it can be done through any light source. So, that is a more major benefit of this. Then why is it not uh, more popular? Sir, there are certain reasons behind that. Firstly, sir, because it is a line of sight communication technology. That is, you need to be always in the line of sight of the light source. 
so that makes it difficult to uh, use in the real world as there are obstructions as well as um, you have to maneuver through places so that is that cannot be used everywhere secondly sir as uh, the modulation and demodulation part and the uh, regarding technology is a bit expensive rather than the other common radio signal technology so that also makes it difficult to use in the common world so can you compare the speed of 5g and li-fi in terms of data transfer sir i am not sure about the exact figures but uh, approximately uh, sir 5g has a top speed of 10 gbps and uh, as far as I've read, sir, light uh, life has speeds more than that. More than 10 times. Uh, okay, sir. Okay. 